there are many reasons why reading c is difficult. so in this video i'm going to show you how to approach it so that it's easier for you. let's go! hello i'm jo from specialist language courses. we are oet premium preparation providers which means you are in the right place for your oet. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do and hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Let's begin. There are three parts to the reading paper and we're going to focus on reading C. In reading C, there are two long texts and each question is a four multiple choice question. There are 45 minutes for parts B and C together, so you will need to spend approximately 32 to 33 minutes on part C. There are 16 questions in total, eight for each text, and the text contains the writer's attitude and opinion, and you need to understand the text as a whole to achieve a good score in part C. There are two texts, and they will be understandable to all professions, so no specialist knowledge is needed. Each text will have a title, and as we can see here, it's allergic to eating. For each text, you have a set of eight questions. Two of these will be lexical questions where you need to understand what language is referring to, such as it or these, and understand what meaning is added by using certain language. The language will be highlighted in bold in the texts. Each question relates to a particular paragraph, so it's a good idea to number the paragraphs first so you can find each one easily. It's really important that you use your time effectively in reading C. So let's take a look at how to do that and what approach to take now. First, you need to read and understand the question, highlighting any keywords to help you. You can then read the answer options, underline the keywords, and notice all parts of the answer option. Then read the paragraph and look for links to the question. Eliminate any incorrect answers and beware of distractors. Just because an option is mentioned in the text doesn't mean it answers the question. Many people find it more effective to read the paragraph before reading the options so they are not distracted. Try both ways and see which way works best for you. So let's take a look together. Here the question states the case of Lucy Smith highlights the fact that food allergies... So why has the writer included the case of Lucy Smith? What does it tell us about food allergies? Now let's look at the answer options. A, the case highlights that allergies may be difficult to diagnose in certain people. B, they are relatively rare in the adult populations. C, they can cause debilitating symptoms. And D, they often require urgent treatment. Now read and understand the paragraph, but always with the question in mind. Why has Lucy Smith's case been included by the writer? When we read the text, we can read the description of what happened to Lucy and the severe symptoms she experienced. This is then reinforced that allergies can cause serious symptoms and impact greatly on a person's life. We can infer that the writer wants us to understand this severity by including Lucy's case, and so the correct answer is C, that they can cause debilitating symptoms. Option A is incorrect because it doesn't mention the difficulty of diagnosing it in certain people, just that Lucy's allergy was confirmed by a specialist. We know that option B is incorrect because it says 1% of the adult population is affected, which perhaps isn't relatively rare, but it also doesn't really link to the case of Lucy, so her story is not highlighting this in any way. Option D is also incorrect as even though it states that they may be life-threatening, it doesn't mention treatment and there is no link to the frequency adverb often. Let's try another one, but this time let's read the text before we look at the options. So let's read and understand the question. In the second paragraph, what point is made about food intolerances? So we know we have to understand what is being said overall about them, the main idea of the paragraph. So. Now read the text and understand the main idea. What does it say about food intolerances? The 
The paragraph starts by defining what an allergy is. And then with the use of however, contrasts this with how it's used more loosely by the general public. It then describes how people say they are allergic, but according to experts, if the immune system isn't involved, then it's an intolerance, not an allergy. It then goes on to talk about the symptoms caused by intolerances and allergies and the social implications. So now let's read the answer options, underlying keywords, and notice all parts of the option. So A, scientists continue to disagree about their root causes. B, the symptoms are indistinguishable from those of allergies. C, they can have an unpredictable impact on the person affected. Or D, the distinction between them and allergies is not widely appreciated. So decide on the correct answer now. Which answer did you choose? Well, we can see that the correct option is D. The paragraph talks about how intolerances are often referred to as allergies, but they are different despite causing similar symptoms. Option A is incorrect, as the causes of intolerances are not discussed. B is incorrect because while it does state that intolerances can bring on similar warning signs, it doesn't say they are indistinguishable and it's not the main point of the paragraph, just one sentence. Option C is incorrect. It does mention the social implications, but not that these are an unpredictable impact. So how can you prepare for reading C? Let's take a look. It's a good idea to start understanding paragraph structure. For example, here we have a topic sentence at the beginning of the paragraph, which introduces the main idea of the paragraph. This is followed by supporting statements to help expand and support the idea of the paragraph. And finally, it ends with the concluding statements. So once you've broken down the paragraph and understood it, you can summarize the main idea in a few sentences. For example, Lucy Smith experienced severe paralyzing pain, which was the first sign of diarrhea. Food allergies are not uncommon, but are not usually as severe as Lucy's. However, the impact they have on people's lives is significant and can be life-threatening. She suspected she was allergic to red meat, which was confirmed by a specialist. It's also a good idea to practice noticing language used to express the writer's attitude and opinion. For example, here we can see gripped by pain so severe, feared, paralyzing, dramatic. And these express the severity of Lucy Smith's case. There is also language to express the impact of food allergies, such as turn a patient's life upside down and may even be life-threatening. So practice noticing language used so you can gain a deeper understanding of what the writer is saying. Doing practice papers will not prepare you sufficiently for the exam. So what other sources can you use? Let's take a look. There are a wide variety of resources that can be used to practice the skills you need from sites such as theconversation.com or The Guardian. To prepare for reading part C, read, read, read. The only way to increase your speed and improve your skills is by reading. Focus on improving your actual reading skills, like reading for main idea and guessing the meaning of unknown words or understanding opinions. Practice understanding the structure of paragraphs, which will help you break it down and understand the ideas as a whole. You can also look for language of attitude and opinion used by the writer to deepen your understanding too. Here are my top tips for reading C. When you begin, number the paragraphs so you can find them quickly when referenced in the question. Aim for a maximum of two minutes per question. It's important to manage your time well for part C, so move on if you need to. Beware of distractors and succeed in the OET exam. So I mentioned in the video, theconversation.com and the Guardian Health are good resources for improving your reading skills. What other websites can you use which contain text useful for reading C? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, like and share with your friends and colleagues so we can help more people achieve success in the OET exam. Don't forget to check out our website, the links below. We've got the perfect preparation course for you. See you in the next video. Bye.
So watch this video where I show you There are many reasons why reading C is difficult. So in this video, <laughs> how to approach it in the right way. So, 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 so. What other websites do you know that have good reading tips, texts? Mm. Is that all right?